Against the backdrop of the Russian Federation's war against Ukraine, Russian dictator Vladimir Putin managed to rally around himself an alliance of North Korea, Iran and China. The problem is that three countries in this alliance have nuclear weapons, according to the Washington Post. Deepening strategic cooperation among the dictatorships of Russia, China, Iran and North Korea poses a significant global threat. The economic and military integration of Putin's allied countries is likened to pre-war World War II Axis powers, heightening concerns of widespread conflicts. The interconnected nature of wars on the planet is highlighted, emphasizing the potential domino effect from conflicts in different regions involving Russia, China, Iran and North Korea. Nicholas Eberstad, head of the Department of Political Economy at the American Institute of Entrepreneurship, issued an important warning on this matter. According to the expert, Bechtol's horror hypothesis is a scenario that will probably never come true, but it is precisely the terrifying consequence of the alliance between Moscow and Pyongyang. Eberstadt draws attention to the fact that no matter how Russia's war against Ukraine develops, the deployment of North Korean forces on the Ukrainian front should really alarm the White House. Four aggressive dictatorships, Russia, China, Iran and North Korea are cooperating strategically and their cooperation is deepening and becoming more coordinated. Three of them possess nuclear weapons and Iran seeks to join the club. The political scientist emphasizes, as noted by historian Hal Brands, while Putin and his allies have yet to form a strong alliance like NATO, they are already more deeply integrated, both economically and militarily, than the Axis powers during World War II. He draws attention to the fact that the People's Republic of China and the Russian Federation subsidize North Korea and the aggressor country relies on Beijing in terms of sales markets, Tehran in terms of attack drones and the DPRK in terms of military equipment and manpower. It is also impossible to ignore the fact that Iran receives military technologies from Pyongyang and increases economic cooperation with Russia and China. Moreover, as is known, they actively defend each other at international and diplomatic forums. We must understand that the war in Gaza and Lebanon against Israel, which is being waged by Iranian proxies, is Russia's war against Ukraine. Just like the war in Taiwan, which can be unleashed by China at a convenient time for Beijing. Failures in one theater of operations will lead to even greater failures, Eberstadt concluded. Israeli authorities said Tuesday one person was killed after a projectile launched from Lebanon slammed into a northern city. The Israeli military said about 50 projectiles were launched from Lebanon into Israel. It said some of the launches were intercepted by Israel's aerial defense system and others fell in the area. Israeli police said they received a number of reports of fallen projectiles which caused damage to property in the city of Malat Tarshiha. The Israeli rescue service Megan David Adam said a man was killed in the strike. The Lebanese militant group Hezbollah said it fired rockets toward the area. Hezbollah has fired thousands of rockets into Israel since October 8 last year, when it began attacking Israel in solidarity with Hamas a day after its cross-border attack. Fighting between Israel and Hezbollah has intensified in recent weeks after Israel launched a ground invasion into Lebanon. An Israeli military helicopter was seen over southern Lebanon Sunday, as smoke plumes dotted the border where Israel launched a ground invasion earlier this month after nearly a year of almost daily exchange of fire between Hezbollah and Israel. Elsewhere, two Israeli strikes killed eight people in Sidon City in southern Lebanon, with 25 wounded, according to Lebanon's health ministry. One strike hit a residential building, according to footage taken by an Associated Press reporter. The Israeli military said four soldiers, 
including one from the military rabbinate, were killed in fighting in southern Lebanon, without providing details. It said five other personnel were severely wounded. An explosive drone and a projectile fired from Lebanon wounded five people in Israel, authorities said. What well, is the six? Yeah, this is the, so this is a different sensor, right? It's a, it's a basically the same, really. Yeah. What's the difference?